welcome back. I'm Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen. And how are you doing today? It's a gorgeous day. Just beautiful. Not too hot. Not too cold. You know, you just need a light jacket. <laughs> uh, I got a story for you. I got a story for you. So this last weekend, our, uh, our tub started leaking. Uh, I don't know exactly where it was leaking. It's somewhere between the shower and the faucet. So at least we could shut the water off on the shutoff valve, you know. Good thing to have those things. Um, anyway, so my husband's like, I'll look at it and, you know, fix it. And, okay. Um, he used to work for a plumbing company. So he, you know, takes it apart and looks at it and, you know, goes to the store, gets the parts he needs, and he comes home. And then he's like, can you help me? Can you just hold this piece in here so I can screw it from the side? So I'm like, sure. Okay. So I'm sitting there holding it. Well, yeah. So I, well, wait, wait. I gotta go back. <laughs> I gotta go back. Before my husband came, my son was going to check it out. And the panel, it's the toilet. And then there's the wall for the shower. Okay. And there's this little panel. So my son is like, you know, I'll, I'll unscrew it and check it out. And I'm like, okay, great. That'd be great. Because my husband wasn't home yet. And he, um, he's like, I ain't touching that toilet. <laughs> I'm just like, he's like, and the floor. I'm like, I just scrubbed the floor last week, you know? And he's like, I don't care. That was last week. You know? <laughs> so he marches in there and I did not get a picture. He wouldn't let me get a picture of him, but he's got this garbage bag on. And so he, you know, made a hole for his head. So his head pops through and he's got it tucked, his shirt tucked in. So it looks like he's got like little muscle, a muscle shirt on with the bag and then the bottom part that comes around him and it's got the red tie, you know, from the, the garbage thing. <laughs> He's like, well, then I won't touch the toilet or the floor and get my shirt dirty, you know. Okay, sweetie. You know, so he was checking it out and he was going to do more, but my husband was like, no, just wait. Okay. So anyway, back to me holding the part and I'm holding this part. Okay. So I'm looking at the inside guts of the wall holding this part, trying to hold it still. And I'm looking and this side has a white hose just kind of coming up. And this one has a red hose coming up. And I'm thinking, okay, hot and cold. And there's this hose from the top and from, you know, where the, it connects to the shower. And I'm looking at these hoses and I'm like, honey. And he's like, yeah. I said, does this top hose, is that supposed to make it to your part? And he's like, yeah. And he comes around. Well, it's this much too short. Like he's jerking on that hose. Like it ain't gonna move. You're gonna rip it out the top. Okay, he didn't think it was, it was as funny as I did, but I was dying because it's like it's just too short, you know. But and then of course he makes sure the other two fit, which they did, you know. But. It was too funny. It was just too funny. I'm just like sitting there and I'm dying. Like I'm barely holding this part on so he can screw it on. Okay. So anyway, he, he does this stuff. He gets it all working, you know, and the next day he tells the kids, you know, the cocking's all dry, you know, whatever you can, you can use your shower. So my son goes in there and takes a shower and, um, doesn't say a word. Like doesn't say anything. But when my husband went and he just wet his hair down, you know, and um, he's like, gosh, that stuff doesn't get hot at all. You know, Mr. So-and-so, he must have used all the hot water. And I'm like, I had to go to town. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I had to, you know, wet my hair down because I wasn't going to take a sh cold shower. And I was like, you know, it was, uh, you know, time crunch. So I just wet my hair down. Well, that night, <clears throat> my oldest son comes home and he takes a shower. And he's like, I don't know what's wrong with that shower. But he goes, he goes I had no hot water at all. And I'm like, well, is it because when you turn the handle, it only goes a quarter of a turn? So you're only halfway and it hits the stop. I said, shouldn't it go the whole 180 so you can get to the hot side of the faucet? And my and my husband's like, no, it's just a quarter turn. And I'm like, no, because when you do a quarter turn, you're at a 90 and you're still at lukewarm. You're not at the hot. He put it on together backwards. Oh, was he not happy? <laughs> All I can think is, 
Good grief, guys. Read the directions. There's nothing wrong with looking at the directions for the faucet so you know what you're doing, you know? And he did fix it. But, um, yeah, it's just a little one of those, you know, it's kind of like our barbecue grill that he tried to put together. And I had to, like, literally lead him step by step because he ended up putting the lid on backwards. I don't know why. It, 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 you, I, I don't know. Is it, What is it? Is it... Is it a pride thing? Like, I'm a dude. I can do this myself. He should know he can't. Um, I put the swing set together one time when our kids were little. And I just couldn't get the, you know, the hanging, like the little swing. It had this cool little swing, double swing. And um, another thing, and I just couldn't do it myself. So I asked him and my brother if they could finish it. And they put it all together backwards. <laughs> all the stories I could tell. <laughs> There's just so many. It's like, read the damn directions, you guys. Okay, we're doing a soap. We're doing another soap. It's a fall soap. And this one, I think this one is my favorite. This was, this is one of those where you will probably be like, what the heck were you thinking, girl? What caused you? What little part of your brain went, this is a great idea. But it is my favorite, and you'll see why. So three things. Dream big. Be true to you. You are worth it. And let's go check out Falling Leaves. Okay, and to our soap. This is Falling Leaves. This is a hybrid soap. Remember we did one back with the flower molds? This one's going to be um, an in-regular uh, mold hybrid soap. I do not know if anybody has ever done their hybrid soaps like this before. I have not seen any. Like the ones I have seen, I have not seen. So I thought it would be a good idea <laughs> to drop swirl my uh, homemade melt and pour, which is, um, you'll see in a minute, it's on um, that. It's on the top, that clear stuff. Um, to drop swirl my melt and pour into my cold process soap. <laughs> I know, I know you, <laughs> yeah, um, for a while there, I, I did panic. And I do do the don't stop, you know, just keep going, just keep going, <laughs> just keep swimming, right? All I'm doing here simply is taking Kelly Green and doing a very, very small bow, bow swirl with the green. So, okay, so none of my leaves are green. Like falling leaves, you know, um, when it's fall, you know, and the leaves are turning, there isn't a lot of green, right? So I wanted just a little bit of green to um, showcase that little bit of green that's out there. Um, luckily, we still have quite a bit of green. So for my melt and pour, like I said, I don't always do the full 50-50 um, with the solvents. I will do 25-25, uh, and then I will, um, uh, you know, depending on what I'm making with it, I will go from there. So Everclear and just a measuring out my uh, melt and pour. And uh, yeah, they call it melt and pour because you melt it and pour it. Um <laughs> I was like, I'll try and show you how this works. Um, the yellow wasn't too bad, but as you can see, it does kind of sit on the surface. And then I am filling a mold on the bottom with some leaves that are going to go on top. Um, because, of course, that melt and pour is probably 180 degrees. And my cold process soap is like, you know, 110 at the most. But... It was okay, and I mean, for a second there, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to rethink this. And then I'm like, no, I don't have time to rethink this. My soap is sitting there. It's getting thick, and I need to just keep going. Like, seriously, just keep going. Um, and so went the orange, and a lot more on the top. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know you're just like... What are you going to do? I'm going to hanger swirl it. <laughs> I 
I and actually I think the original plan was to have um I think four colors. Um but in the end I did three colors and I put just put um some gold on top. Yeah, I'm starting to panic. I'm like, <laughs> what do I do? Oh no, this is bad. This is so bad. And then I'm like, no, we're gonna just push it down. We're gonna push it down. I've seen like where they, you know, where you have a mold and, or they, they slice it up, you know, they do all the different things with it, with the melt and pour, and then put it in the soap. I've never seen anybody try and drop, swirl it in the soap. Or do half of a, half of a uh, melt and pour with half of a cold process on top. Um, but yeah, so I was like, it's, it's just getting thick. And I was just like, oh crap, Ola. Oh crap, Ola, this was such a stupid idea. What was I thinking? I'm ruining my soap batch. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I am literally ruining my soap batch. Um, but I just keep going because I'm, you know, just have learned that it's, sometimes it's just better to just keep going, you know, because you just don't know. And at this point, I was thinking I was going to have this big gloppy gloop of stuff in, uh, in there. And, oh, I mean, it's like, you know, can you imagine it? Like, just... <laughs> a big plop of melt and pour just cooked together and then the whole soap crumples away and I mean I I was having like <laughs> anxiety anxiety feelings running through like little panic attacks going oh my gosh this is gonna be horrible this is oh my god this is so stupid and here I decided it's copper it's not gold it's copper I used copper uh mica from Brambleberry to just put on the top so I could kind of um, do a little swirl with it, if you want to say. Um, I do put the little leaf mold. I put that in the fridge um, for like eh, a few minutes, you know. Uh, just it cools the melt and pour really quick and then I can get it out of the mold super fast. Yeah, I banged that sucker down because I was like, this is going to be bad. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> There's going to be lumps lumps and chunks and, and, oh, but continuing to press onward with the plan, um, <laughs> I had these, little, these are the little leaves that I made, um, right after I, you know, poured that into the soap, then I had made these little leaves out of each color just to decorate the top. Yep. I'm just a very quick, uh, embed for the top. And they, I mean, they turned out really cute, you know, I was trying to alternate, but I didn't. And I probably, what I should have done was, um, I could have done those in green, right? But it's okay. These are fine. And there you go. Just move them over a little bit. Make sure I have like a, a good cutting ratio and ta-da! Look at that. It looks crazy. It looks like, oh my gosh, it looks like that nougat. Do you know that nougat candy? It was like Brock's or something and you could buy it in the stand and it was like white and it had like the red and yellow and um, green chunks in it. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> and no, I cannot cut this with my soap cutter. It has uh, way too much melt and pour in there. I wasn't even going to attempt it. I didn't even want to try and break a wire. It's just no fun. Okay. So I did, um, you know, measure out my one inch bars. So even though, I mean, some, you, you know, you're supposed to be able to put it on there and cut, but it, it just doesn't work because even if your knife goes all the way to the bottom there, it should be cut out. I've always wanted to have my husband like router it out so the knife would go past the soap and it would cut completely, you know, through, which, um, this stuff stuck. So it was, <laughs> it was, it seemed to be working. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you look at those soaps, like they're not bad. They're not bad at all. Like, it literally worked as a drop swirl. Not a typical drop swirl, but it definitely worked as a drop swirl soap. I'm shocked. 
because my mind, that is not, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't even draw the pictures that were going through my mind when I was doing this and telling myself, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. (laughs) And just like, oh, it's not going to be okay. This is going to be awful. This is going to be terrible. This is, you know, that was dumb. Yeah, it was, it was soft, but that didn't seem to matter. But yeah, if you want to look at these up close and to the point, there we go. Oh, I have to fix that one. Yeah, and I was expecting a lot more holes than I got. Seriously, a lot more holes, um, which was a little crazy. But on the other hand, it was a good thing that I didn't. Um, sorry, I'm in the camera. I'm just, that one is pretty. I do like that one. I do like that one. Um, the second one, that one's probably the other half of the second one. And then you see the little teardrops of the red. It's kind of cool. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it is possible, it, you know, if you've done this, let me know. Because I couldn't find anything on it online to tell me, like, what, you know, like, if there were some tips and tricks and I don't even have any right now for you. Uh, (laughs) Be fast. Don't dawdle. Maybe, you know, the temperature difference between the two, I probably wouldn't even matter if you, if you had a slower moving um, fragrance oil, you know, like a citrus one that, that, you know, stayed fluid for quite a while, that might've helped. But in the end, I really think it didn't, it might not matter because that, um, with the different temperatures, you know, it's, it's going to hit that cold process and solidify slightly. So, which it's okay. Here are the fragrance notes to these really cute bars. And here are the bars once they are just cut. And here are the bars after they have been curing and losing all their water weight for a while. (laughs) And as always, I hope you had a good time. Thank you for dropping by, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.